Hello, this is Dr. Khosro Jadidi, and I'd like to give you a brief overview on my article. Ketokinase treatment using femtosecond assisted intrastromal corneal graft surgery, a case series. In this article, we describe an intrastromal corneal graft technique that uses femtosecond laser to create a desirable corneal lenticule with precise diameter, depth and shape, as well as intrastromal pocket in ketokinase patients. Surgical technique. The surgical technique is characterized by three step procedures as follows. Step 1. Creation of corneal lenticule in donor's eye. Preoperatively, epitheliums of donor's eye from the whole globe were removed with a plate number 15. Subsequently, a desirable corneal lenticule with precise diameter, depth and shape was created using Zyme. The proper depth of cornea was defined by subtracting normal corneal depth measure with thinnest part of the recipient's cornea. The shape of the lenticule was determined based on the keratoconus types. In central keratoconus, circular shape was chosen. In inferior keratoconus, we chose crescent shape, and in asymmetric bow type keratoconus, mesopic pupil size and round shape was selected. In addition, the accurate diameter measurement was based on lenticule size. Step 2. Creation of cornea pocket in recipient's eye. The intracornea pocket entry in recipient eye was created on the steepest corneal topographic axis using femtosecond surgical laser. Then in intracornea pocket were gently separated from the underlying stroma using a sin key hook and a spatula. Step 3. Graph implementation. After creation of intrastromal pocket via the small incision and intrastromal cornea graph were implemented immediately into the corneal pocket by a Sinsky hook or a forcep. The procedure takes approximately 30 minutes. Subsequently, a silicone hydrogel bandage contact lens was placed on the cornea. Clinical data. No intraoperative and postoperative complication occurred. At seven days, postoperatively, all eyes were, uh, were white and quiet and the graph were clear. No graph folds or interface complications were observed at the 12 months follow-up. They also demonstrated a kind of regularization of the cornea surface postoperatively. Ocular response analyzer measurement was done for study cases that no significant changes were detected in corneal hysteresis and corneal resistance factor of the graft implementation. In summary, the technique is easy to perform and appears to be safe and effective, particularly for the treatment of irregularly shaped cornea, such as in keratoconus. However, due to progressive characteristic of keratoconus disease, it remains unclear whether this technique is able to control the progression of disease. Therefore, we suggest cornea cross-linking as an approach to halt the progression of corneal ectic disorder with intrastromal cornea graft.